Hey everybody, Preferred Selection here. I was just finishing up my Hellbridge, which is now to the edge of the world, when I noticed that the Traveling Merchant had appeared. And let's talk about what he has. I've already peeped at it, so I'm not gonna like pretend like I haven't. So he's got a few interesting things. He has a revolver, which uh, it's an okay gun. Like stat-wise, it looks we don't have another gun on us to compare it to. Bees knees is basically a gun, so if we didn't have like a good weapon, this would be fine. But we do have a good weapon. He has pad thai, which sometimes I'll buy early in the game. But we have sashimi, so uh, almost identical items. Uh, just double the well-fed buff from sashimi. Uh, fishing, by the way, if you go fish in the ocean, it's really easy to very quickly get uh, one of the best buffs in the game. So I recommend getting well-fed. He has a sitting duck fishing pole, which we're, I'm almost definitely going to buy. I'm a little hesitant to because it's one of those things where I don't really know how much more fishing I'll be doing in this playthrough, and I could just catch it later. Uh, yeah, you know, normally I, I would buy this if I was... I was going to buy this when I hit record, but uh, this is not really like a completionist character. Like, I'm not... I don't think there's anything I'm going for that I still need from fishing. And even if I do, I can get there just off the flush catcher and night crawlers, or I can just catch him again. So I was going to buy this, but I'm, I'm sitting at less than a platinum going about to go into hard mode. So I'm thinking instead, I just, uh, I just won't. I was going to talk about also some of the items that I picked up on my bridge building. It's funny, when I was recording my bridge building, like, not much really dropped. We got the Flame Lash, which I think I might actually use a little. Not anytime soon. I mean, it's a, it's a good weapon. Yeah, it is a good weapon, and I almost never use it, so I think I might uh, swap out the Aqua Scepter for it for a little bit. See if I can get a decent reforge on it. Superior is great. So yeah, then with the Aqua Scepter, I can just go ahead and retire. I, I don't really need all these all these weapons. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep the Aqua Scepter around. We'll see. But I got these Magma Stones, which are uh, fire damage. They both have good reforges. Uh, movement speed and damage. I don't know which one I want. I'm tempted to swap out my Tiger Climbing Claws for them if I'm using any kind of melee. But I'm not using any melee right now, so they're just going to go sit in a box. I got a Cascade, speaking of melee. Uh, Cascade already has this buff, though. And this is, by the way, the best uh, Cascade Reforge you could get. So I'm thinking... I think this... This is such a mess of a hotbar. But I think this is what my hotbar looks like for right now. Uh, I always like to keep my pickaxe on two. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the Cascade my one. Because I, I do like having melee weapons on one. And this is a really good Reforge on this. Uh, Flame Lash can just be... Flame Lash is a fine, like... It's fine weapon. Bees knees is fine. Good reforges on all of them. And eventually, I'm not going to have like all of these rods up here. I don't need a million rods, but they can stay for now. Uh, what else did I get? I talked about the Cascade. I talked about the Magma Stone. I got a Demon Scythe. Um, I never used the Demon Scythe. I don't think it's very good. So Basically, what I got is a lot, a lot of stuff to put into my weapons chest. Put, let's put away the Water Bolt. Put away the, I'm surprised we're putting away the Aqua Scepter this early. It's a really good item. It, it's much more mana efficient than the than the flame lash, but we've got we've got a good melee weapon and we've got a good range weapon, so I'm not super concerned about mana efficiency or yeah, mana efficiency um, is the word I was looking for. Not a big deal right now. Also, I'm noticing my hellfire arrows are my only arrows right now, so I guess if I fire bees, I'm firing hellfire arrows. Oh wait, no, I've got wooden ones right there. Yep. That's odd that those were switched. I don't know why that was. So, I'll also put some... I don't need the Magma Stones on me right now, for, for sure. I think this is going to be a... Do I have to worry about quick stacking? Yes, I do. Okay, so never mind. We cannot have the um, Guide Voodoo Chest be there if I, if I don't want to be quick stacking. So, Guide Voodoo Dolls are going to live in... In here, in my non-quick stack chest. 
Or maybe they could get their own? Oh, man, that looks really out of place in that, in that room. <coughs> hey, they're just going to live there. We have a ton of guide voodoo dolls, by the way. We've I've got, like, four more here. Uh, yeah, magic missile I'm definitely done with. I can put that away. Oh, what? I've been carrying around beeswax for, like, a million years. I can put that away. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing all this inventory management on camera. Sometimes it's just... You have to answer the call when when it when it comes sometimes. But yeah, all right. So we're going to go back down the elevator. Uh, it's time. It's time to go fight. Fight the good fight. I think I I should be pretty ready for shut off the cascade a little bit when we hit these cobwebs. So definitely a serviceable weapon for getting through cobwebs quickly. <coughs> so you notice we we fell at about 120 west. So that's uh, 60 blocks because every feet, like two feet are one block. Pardon me one second. Yeah, every every foot is is uh or every two feet is a block is the easy way to say that. So we fell at about 120 uh, feet, so that's 60 blocks to the west of the start of the map. And our bridge, oh another guide booted all, because it's not like we don't have 10. Who knows? We'll maybe we'll end up farming for something. Our bridge is very long. It goes to the end of the world, which is about. I think the world ends at like 4,200, and our bridge stops at exactly 4,000 west. So that's 2,000 tiles. Uh, this still might not be enough to do it, believe it or not. Like, I don't know if... Uh, I mean, we've got imps, so that'll probably help us get there. But I don't know if this is actually... Yeah, I don't know. It's red husks, because I believe we're under the jungle. I don't know if this will be enough to get there off these turrets. I really I really don't have a good conception for how strong they are. I don't even know which turrets I want to use during the Wall of Flesh. I'm thinking I'm going to mostly use the flame turret. Yeah, here we are uh, at exactly uh, 4,000. I'm going to really quickly extend this by a little bit so I can set down my piggy bank over the precipice of death and I wanted to do that just so I could see if I had a voodoo station there because if I did I could um, I could I could summon another imp but obviously I'm not really optimizing ooh dark lance I love dark lance it's one of my favorite weapons in the game uh, I think I'm gonna use it over cascade sorry cascade you didn't get much time to shine uh, and again I, I'm actually glad that I brought my piggy bank uh, or made a little spot for it because I hate restoration potions with passion. They, and invisibility. God, it would be annoying to like pop buff and like use those. Um, restoration potions, they restore 80 life and they restore 80 mana, which is like, it sounds great on paper until you realize that you pretty much never want to, um, you never want to pop like uh, a mana potion. Like if you, if you, you want to use your mana potions like every second, not like, uh, I don't know. I'm, not, I'm actually having a little bit of trouble remembering why I hate them so much. Is it? Is it because I'm trying to use the mana potions? And I, I don't know. But I don't like them. I know from experience that I that they just don't work out the way I want to use either mana potions or health potions. But speaking of, I'm gonna pop a sashimi, which will make my imp staff summon like maybe one point higher. Not much higher. I think it's most. I think well fed is like knockback for minions or something like that. But at any rate, I'm gonna go over here gonna summon the wall of flesh and then I'm just gonna see I'm gonna start off with the um, ballista because it's what I'm hovering over and then I'm gonna switch to the flame burst after I let the ballista god the ballista has no idea what it wants to do right now flame burst seems like it has a clue at least 
It's not doing as much as I would have hoped it would do, but it seems like a good one for the hungry. I also thought that the uh, lightning one might be interesting for the hungry. Oh, the lightning one's a little awkward because I have to, like, stand in it. You know, I didn't really think that my health would be an issue during this, but as I'm watching these perform, I'm noticing that my health is not great. I can heal. I can dive in there for these guys. But I didn't think health would be a, tro a problem. Maybe it won't be. Okay. Guide withdrawal is a little annoying. I might have to... I don't know if my health is going to be uh, fantastic during this. I mean, I can back off a little bit, but that's not what you want to be doing in a, situ in a fight like this. Is You don't want to be running. I'll grab the voodoo demon. Because we're in jungle, there's a lot of, like, just, like, stuff around. I did not think that I'd be in, like, a situation where I'd really be worried about my health. And then I, I'm dead. Alright, so that's a little bit of a problem. I didn't think that I'd have to, like, think about my health at all during this. And wall's still coming, so I could just go back down there and, uh... And get in on that fight again. I think I will. I've got a long enough bridge, why not? Got lightning boots. Hopefully there's no cobweb. I think our DPS is a problem, though, in addition to... Is wall down here? I forget how this works. I know how it works in multiplayer. We better not be close to the wall, because if we're close, we're screwed. Is that it? Seemed like something was firing at me. Okay. So we lost a little bit of ground. To say the least. We could end up okay. I think I want to switch to the Ballista now that I... am through a little bit more of the fight. No, the Ballista is like too dumb. <laughs> it's just like not smart enough to know who we're going for. I'll try the lightning rod some more. And I, I think I will try the uh, trap rod a little bit, just because I, I don't... Yeah, it's not what I want. I definitely want uh, the uh, flame burst. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Health is becoming an issue again. Alright, flame burst. Don't turn around and fire at, like, random stuff. You gotta fire at these guys. Man, the stairs are really throwing it off. And then we have a, a random enemy, but it's not too bad. If we die again, we're, we are, like, really screwed. And I'm just, like, I'm just, like, kiting into this guy over and over. That's, that's poor play on my part. And granted, there's a lot going on, but I, I should know better than to just, like, kite into that guy over and over. He has so much defense. Okay, so now we're off the bridge. It's a little bit problematic.
Gotta get that health. <laughs> How to just get out of here. Alright. Death so surprisingly an issue. He has he has very little health, so if I can go down there and catch him, we might still be able to get the skill. It's gonna be a little bit of a tricky battle, because he's going the wrong way now. But I'll give it a shot. Little things like that, not having my Drake Lance ready for that cobweb could cost me. Alright, now that we're down here, we just need imps. And we really need to be um, using our hook to like hook shot and move around a little bit. But I'm not super confident to alright. The tiger climbing gears actually could actually could be a problem because the tiger climbing gear means that we like hook to walls a little awkwardly, kills all of our momentum. There's our turret. I think I can move faster than than um, faster than the wall can, and all I really have to do is catch him because he's at so low health. But can I catch him is the issue. There we go, moving a little bit faster now. All right, that's a problem. Like that door. All right, this is an issue. Just like having to mine through a building is gonna, I mean, he just doesn't, he doesn't move super fast. So, I mean, I'm just gonna run And he's probably gone. The, the wall is probably gone. But since he's only at 400. I'm not counting myself out until. I want to open the mini map to see if he's. Like, to open the map to see if he's still there. But just we've got so little time that I'm not going to. Like, I think we just. I think this, the thing here to do. It's a small world. Let's so just run to the edge of the map and see if we catch him. We're almost there, re really. All right, that's bad. Don't be in lava. Yeah, we're like almost at the edge of the world, and I'm not hearing his music. So I'm thinking that he's probably gone. That's okay. We got him down low. I think... Yeah, he's gone. He is very gone. All right. Well, that was a good attempt at the wall, kind of. Um, I mean, it's still, it's like, I think it's doable. Like, the problem is we, we chose jungle, which means that there's a very high spawn rate. And we don't really, there's not really like a turret that deals with our enemies easily. So I think what we want to do about that... So we just need to build out the arena a little bit more. Like, we've got our, like, just a little bit farther. Um, might also want to consider placing, like, a heart lamp or two, just so that we can... Whoops. Clicked off screen. Because if we can, if we can move away from him, then we don't have to worry about like standing there tanking a bunch of damage. So the question is, where do I want this? If I put a heart lantern somewhere, where do I want it? I don't think I. I think a heart lantern is a, enough of a, a little deal. It's not like a. It's not like the main. Really. I want to use one of these guys again. These Buddha demons have just been everywhere.
That, that is one of the issues with B armor, is that you're... Like, my defense is only 18, which is pretty low for what I'm trying to do. I could reforge some of these. Eh, I've got an armored accessory. I don't really need two arcane accessories right now, but... And in fact, I probably won't ever, because it seems like my turrets don't actually use proper mana. So I could... I could spend a little bit of gold and get out of this, uh... That was a really fun wall fight, by the way. That was, that was, I love that fight. That was, a, that was neat, whether we lost or not. I could spend a little bit of gold getting my, like, I don't think our obsidian shield, we, ult we ultimately do not want that to be arcane. Like, that's just not... We're not, like, an arcane person. I mean, we, it's weird, because we're a summoner, and you... and But summoners don't need arcane. They're using magic, but... Using magic does not mean that you are necessarily concerned with running out of mana. They're, they're not quite the same. Even though it's, you know... You guys get what I'm saying. Although it's one of those things where I could spend a bunch of I could spend a bunch of uh, money on the accessories, or I could just like pop an iron skin potion. So it's like <laughs> one of those things. That, uh, the iron skin is like the much easier way to get eight defense rather than hammering on these. Um, I think I still will. I'm not gonna hammer on the. Well, it's it's funny because I'll I'll probably keep both accessories for a very long time. Uh, cause I don't think I'll get Onk Shield anytime soon. I ha I have not, I have not tried to get myself a Nazar pre-hard mode, which means in hard mode, well, not necessarily in hard mode, but it, if I do go to a post-Plantera dungeon, um, I'll have a hard time getting a Nazar, hard time getting, a lot of people, a lot of people feel like you need to get the, um, the Nazar before you go into hard mode at all, but it's no, you just have to get it before you beat Plantera. So you almost want to like wait until, not necessarily wait until hard mode, but you might, yeah, wait until hard mode, really. Because like, what, what do you, you get a slightly higher dungeon spawn, I think, like in the hard mode dungeon versus like the pre-hard mode dungeon. I don't know. Maybe you don't, but either way, at worst case, it makes no difference. It's not until the dungeon changes over in enemies that that your little skulls are gone. And honestly, even if you even if you lose out on the, on the skulls, if you're planning on making an AFK farm ever, like your AF, AFK farm can take care of your Nazar needs. If it has uh, if it has like Hollow or uh, Underground Hollow or Underground Crimson, if you're getting enchanted swords or enchanted axes or whatever, that can get you an. It, it won't get you a Nazar very quickly. But in terms of like AFK farms, it'll get you one at some point. Okay, so we've built about 70. That can't be right. Okay, no, I was looking at the wrong, wrong number. We built about 350 blocks east. Now, we, we obviously uh, need more than that, but we only really need more than that if we die again. So the question is, can we do this without dying? Like, we definitely could if we were using like, like, weapons. Like, I, like, I could go kill the wall, like, to be clear, I could kill the wall flash in a second right now if I just came down here with some B-nades. Like, we have B-nades, we could do that, but we're not gonna do that. We're not, um, not about that life. You know, our our goal is not to be nade the wall of flesh to death. It's it's to get them with you these weird turrets. Also, why do I have so much money, like on my person right now? Oh, that's where I died, I guess.
Okay, so if we build our bridge out to about... I mean, I might as well keep going while it's straight. And then when I hit something that's like an obstruction... Okay. Yeah, we build our bridge out to about here. Let's see what's in this chest. I, I have a feeling it'll be a... Not a rainbow rod, but whatever the thing is called. Oh, another Dark Lance. Okay. It's a similar one. Not really better or worse, so I'll just take it. And we have our first Platinum. Alright. Well, hmm. Do I want to start... Do I want to do a Wall of Flesh fight right now? We're at about the 26 minute mark. Let's do some reforging and see about... Let's do our prep. That's what we'll do. Okay, so the Arcane Shield will be way cheaper to reforge than the Lightning Boots, so that's what we'll do first. Guarding, I think, is where we stop. That's a little bit more defense. I don't know. Okay, maybe that's not where we... Well, tell you what, we'll give this... Arcane is so good in certain situ situations, but it's it's doing nothing for us right now. Lucky. Lucky is great. It's, it's not... It's actually terrible for summoner builds, but it's it's um, it's fine. It's it's reasonable. It's a reasonable uh, thing. And as far as getting our defense up, we can get it up with with sashimi. And we'll just get like a little. We don't have many iron skins. That makes me want to make some iron skins. Get some iron out. And where's our bottle of water? Okay, so I'm going to go over to the, this. Alchemy Station gives me an increased chance of getting uh, potions. Uh, let's, or not increased chance of getting potions, but increased chance of not using the, the consumable. So I'm going to go ahead and make some regen potions is what I'm going to make first. And I made seven, Jesus. And then, Okay, now I'm going to use the rest of this day bloom and iron to make however many iron skin it'll let me. Just two. Okay, a little bit less lucky there, but that's actually a fine ratio. Regen is, like, way better than iron skin. Uh, eight defense, especially when you have so little, little defense, is nice, but it's not a huge deal. Okay, so what's our plan? Do we want a hunter potion? Do we want... I mean, I'm not really planning on, like, fighting this thing, so I don't really want to take that many potions. Um, heart reach uh, is good, because that'll give us hearts that we don't have to, like, dodge for. So I think... I mean, it doesn't seem like we're changing up much, but iron skin, uh, regen, and heart reach should be enough to... You know what? Screw it. Let's take Night Owl. It doesn't... When are we ever? When else are we ever going to use it? And I would like to be able to see. Um, Alright, Blood Moon is rising. You know what? Episode... Uh, let, let's let's deal with some Blood Moon with some... With some stuff. With some, with some turrets. Let's plop that one down over there. This is kind of like the... Let's let's do the uh, you know what? That's the thing that I should be upgrading is I should be upgrading the the um, the uh, flame burst turret because it's pretty cheap to upgrade. It seems to be the best one for us right now, and it doesn't have uh, taboos. Fine, but we can do better. Godly, godly sounds good. So that that'll get us a little bit more damage. Uh, the rest of the, of the things look fine. I like my I like my dark lance, so I'll upgrade it a little bit. Ruthless is... I don't actually want a negative knockback modifier, but Ruthless is fine. Reaver Shark, I feel like... Uh, ruthless... I, again, I don't want negative knockback. That's actually not so good on a pickaxe. Uh, Murderous is a speed upgrade, so it's perfect. Yeah, okay. We're, we're, we're really well kitted out. Uh, yeah, next time we fight, I'm going to pop Well Fed. I'm just going to hit B, and that's going to give me a bunch of... The night out. The night owl is not going to last forever, but it'll actually be a nice visual indicator of like when our buffs are running out, 
because we'll see Night Owl go away, and that's when we know we have a minute left on our uh, re regen, a minute left on our iron skin. Uh, if we wanted to, like, if we wanted to go in there with the intention of it being, like, a long fight and popping the buffs um, multiple times, then we could, then we could actually have an, another, um, like, we could have another uh, iron... This would be a good fight art for our Cascade that we just shunned off to our... to the corner. Cascade's great for just, like, when you're trying to just quickly, like, hover your cursor over a pretty hard mode enemy and watch it die. Especially Cascade with this good of a reforge. In fact, Cascade... It might be better than our Dark... Yeah, it probably is better than our Dark Lance. <laughs> uh, which is fine. You'll notice I changed up the scenery in here a little bit. I put the... Um, I put the Hornet Staff on display instead of the Star Fury, just because... I mean, the Star Fury was cool, but, like, it wasn't, like, a big part of our run, whereas the... I feel like the, um... The Hornet Staff was significant. Because we actually use it for... We actually use it for, uh, quite a bit of pre-hard mode. I mean, it basically was what we used to take down the, uh... The Waves. This has been a pretty tame Blood Moon so far. I'm still I'm look, just looking for a money trough. That's all I really want is a money trough. I would take a shark tooth necklace and a heartbeat. But a money trough is what I what I'm after. Oh, another thing uh, that we're definitely gonna bring down this time is we're gonna bring down uh, our uh, bewitching table. So remind me. You know, it's fu it's funny. I was thinking, oh, we don't need to be all that min max for this. Um, yeah, but witching table could have that could have that could have given us a win. Could have been the difference. A lot of shackles. I wish shackles sold for a little bit, so I actually cared about these. But whatever. I want to keep this, even though we're like way more powerful than this blood moon right now. I want to keep it on camera, just on the off chance that I, if I get a money trough, money trough to drop, I want you guys to see it. I mean, not because you guys haven't seen a million of them yet, but. Because I don't want you guys to think that I'm, like, cheating. Even though... I don't know why any... I don't think there's a single viewer who watches the channel who would be like, Oh, money trough, hacks, but... You never... I don't know. I don't know, guys. You never know. Do we have enough housing? Like, if I'm thinking about going into hard mode... Our housing's getting pretty full. So we might want to consider... I might want to consider, like, um... I think I'm going to buy Platinum Wings, or not, I always want to call them Platinum Wings, but Leaf Wings. I think I'm going to want to buy Leaf Wings for, uh, the sake of just having good wings right away. Although this is not a speed run, so I could go for Frozen Wings, because Frozen Wings are a little bit better than, uh, Leaf Wings. Um, the downside is you can't get them, like, your first night of hard mode. Uh, not easily anyway. Uh, but the upside is you don't have to drop a Platinum on your wings, you... You just go wait for some rain and kill some ice golems. Yeah, maybe this will be a... We, maybe we'll go Frozen Wings. Or maybe I'll just, like... I'll see how it goes. I'll play it by ear. But that... Hmm. Playing it by ear is tough. Like, because... You know what? I'm going to... At some point, for some reason, I'm going to need a... Um, I'm going to need the Witch Doctor to live in, in a jungle house somewhere. So I will go ahead and take care of the Witch Doctor having a jungle house before we go into hard mode. I'm going to do it off camera because it's not like the most interesting thing in the world. I got some zombie banners. I don't really have a... I mean, I guess we can just put them... finish off the decor in this house. That actually looks nice since it's on both floors. Do I want to mess around with... I haven't shown off the explosive trap rod very much, so... I don't think I'm going to get a chance to during this fight. Uh, since all the enemies are... Let's put one right there. It's, a neat... it's nice that it's like a mine that doesn't blow up. Like, it stays. 
but it's also like a mine that does like a tenth the damage of a normal mine. So it's not the world's most exciting thing, in the, is it? But I mean, I'm sure that the I'm sure that the upgraded version is like as strong as a mine, like the version that you get eventually. Now that I've gotten a Drippler banner, I can start complaining about not having a uh, uh, money trough. I'm not gonna actually complain. Although I do, I would like to get a place to put some banners. It's not like uh, too. Eh, that's a fine spot for it now. But I, I like having banners uh, somewhere. Maybe I'll build. Maybe my next housing will be like. Uh... I I don't like the I don't I try not to build floating island houses because I like them just fine, but. But the viewership tends to not like houses that are just like in the sky. For no apparent reason. Like, they don't like things that are floating without engines or some kind of like airship thing, like just like a box. Which I, I guess I get. Uh, but I, I think I will do some kind of house that's like a, like a loft or something that's above these. Uh, and uh, I saw my, I saw two of my imps come by, and the way that the hold, the holding pattern that they were in when they flew by me, I, I, I swear to God for a second I was like, is that Mothron? Did I? Did I just get a random Mothron, like, Miss Spawn or something? It looked like they were a Mothron chasing me. But at any rate, uh, I think I'll build a little bit of housing just, like, above me. And then the base of that can be, like, where I put banners that... Like, Eclipse banners, Blood Moon banners. Uh, banners that make sense for having around your home. Alright, Blood Moon's almost over. Probably no... Mo Oh, Blood Zombie Banner. Okay. I was going to say probably no money trough, but I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch or something. I wonder if it's better to be, like, away from civilization if you want, like, a bunch of Blood Moon enemies. I don't know. Alright. Oh, one last guy. Come on, money trough. Nope. No money trough, no shark tooth necklace, and that's our second blood moon. A little unlucky, but not the end of the world. Alright, so off camera, I'm going to go ahead and uh, build a little bit of housing for just whoever needs to move in, like the start of hard mode, like my wizard and stuff. And that, ooh! Since it, since I know I can already know in advance who's gonna be there, like the wizard and maybe like the steampunk lady, I could theme it accordingly. Maybe I should make it like a little bit of an airship or something if it's gonna be like above the house. Hmm, food for thought. Uh, I'm gonna do that off camera because I don't want to do too much building on camera in this in this uh, series. And then I'm gonna do. The Witch Doctor house, which is just going to be a simple, like, house somewhere for him to be in the jungle. And from there, it'll be uh, time to go try the wall flush again with, with a little bit more, I think the same general strategy, but just a little bit more optimized. We're going to have, uh, you know, like, four more buffs to our name. And we're just going to see if, uh, if we can stay alive a little bit easier. Um, at a higher amount of, of defense and we have upgraded our we've got a we've got a few things going for us that we didn't have last time so they're they're all minor incremental things but we'll see if they make the difference thanks for watching and i'll see you next time